Hello friends! Today I'm going to be doing a three looks one palette with the Juvia's Place Saharan palette. This is what the inside looks like. I believe this palette is still available and if it is I'll link it down below for you guys. I would consider this mostly a neutral palette with a few pops of color, mostly Sokoto, Kia, Fula, and Wudabe. I really hope you'll enjoy these looks, so let's get started. Hello friends, Athena here, and today I'll be showing you how to do this look here. It's really nice for drawing the eye upward, but it's still a relatively subtle look. So let's get started. Using a BH Cosmetics pencil brush, I'm going to take the shade Cutsina and apply it to the lower lash line and throughout my crease. Next, I'm going to take a BH Cosmetics V5 blending brush to further blend out my crease with the shade Katsina. Now, I'm going to apply my eye primer. Now that my eye primer has been applied, I'm going to take the same BH Cosmetics pencil brush and apply the shade Chad in the shape of a large eyeshadow wing. Next, I'm going to take my finger and apply the shade Bororo to the inner and outer corners of my eye. For a cleaner application of the shade Bororo on my outer corner, I'm going to clean off my BH Cosmetics pencil brush and apply the same shade to cover up the eyeshadow wing we made. Next, using a generic angled brush, I'm going to take the shade Bororo and connect the inner and outer corners of where I've applied the shade at the center. Now I'm going to diffuse the outer crease using the shade Katsina and my BH Cosmetics V5 blending brush. Finally, I'm going to use my finger to apply the shade Senegal to the center of my lid where I've left a space open. That was pretty much it for the eyeshadow portion of this look. I'm going to pop off camera to apply some eyeliner and mascara, and then I'll be back to show you the finished makeup. I forgot to mention one last step. I applied the shade Iman to my inner corner as a inner corner highlight using my finger. Hello friends, Athena here, and today I'll be showing you how to do this look here. I really like the contrast between the red and the sort of greenish gold in this one. So let's get started. First I'm going to take the shade Jamila with my Luxie 209 large shader and apply that through the first half of my crease. Next I'm going to take the shade Sokoto and apply that to the outer half of my crease where the outer V area is using my BH Cosmetics V5 blending brush. I'm also going to apply the shade Sokoto to my lower lash line using a generic angled brush. Now I'm going to apply my eye primer. Now that my eye primer is on, I'm going to apply the shade Sokoto using my BH Cosmetics V5 blending brush to the outer half of my eyelid. Using a synthetic flat shader, I'm going to apply the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Milk to the inner half of my eyelid, creating a half cut crease. Now that my white base has been applied, I'm going to take a BH Cosmetics angle brush and apply the shade Wudabe over the white base. <music> Lastly, using my finger, I'm going to apply the shade Fula as an inner corner highlight. 
That was it for the eyeshadow portion. I'm gonna pop off camera to apply some eyeliner and mascara, and then I'll be back to show you the finished makeup. Hello friends, Athena here, and today we're gonna be doing this look here. It's a little bit smokier and uses some of the darker tones in the palette, so let's get started. First, I'm gonna apply the shade Katsina through my crease using my BH Cosmetics V5 blending brush. Now I'm going to apply the shade Katsina to my lower lash line using a generic flat shading brush. Next, I'm going to apply my eye primer. Now that my primer has been applied, I'm going to take another generic flat shader and apply the shade Chad to my outer V. I'm going to diffuse the outer V and crease area with the shade Katsina and the flat shader we used before for the lower lash line. Now I'm going to use my finger to apply the shade Fula to the inner half of my eyelid. I'm also going to use my finger to apply the shade Lulu as an inner corner highlight. Finally, I'm going to apply the shade Kia to my outer V and the outer half of my eyelid using a flat shader brush. That was it for the eyeshadow portion of the tutorial. I'm going to pop off camera to apply some mascara and eyeliner and then I'll be back to show you the finished look. If you made it to the end, thank you so much for watching this video. And if you'd like to see more content like this, please feel free to like, subscribe, and comment down below what you want to see next.